how do you diagnose atrial fibrillation? Nowadays, um, diagnosis of atrial fibrillation has become much easier than before. I mean, we used to have electrogram that you go to doctor's office and get those squiggly lines. Yeah, that's the uh, electrocardiogram. Electrocardiogram printed on a paper. Then we had monitor connected with the cellular tower so you can attach to your body and detect that either within 24 hours or 30 days. Then we came out with newer devices which can stay under your skin for almost three, four years continuously monitoring. Whoa, so you place a chip Sort of, yes. <laughs> Under the skin. How long does that say? It's up to three years? Up to three to four years. <clears throat> the purpose of that chip is to do what? It has many purposes, but one of the purposes is that it can help us detect underlying arrhythmia, which has been difficult, that whenever patients feel something, they can't get to doctor's office or emergency room, and nobody can diagnose what that is. So nowadays, that helps us. In addition, also, with technology coming in play, Apple Watch and a lot of other uh, devices called Cardia, um, and those are the devices that patient-operated, not implanted, also can detect atrial fibrillation. You still need attention from a medical provider, but it still allows uh, early detection. So there are devices that you can carry with you, Cardia, where uh, you put your fingers on it, they'll do an electrocardiogram, we can send that to you, or it will tell them, you have atrial fibrillation. Correct. Uh, when, when that happens, immediately they call the doctor and say, I'm back in AFib, or I've got AFib. Uh, it doesn't, most of the time I tell uh, and explain patients that atrial fibrillation is not a life-threatening problem. Good. But that understanding does not come on first event. So most of the time, patients uh, end up calling physicians or going to the emergency room as they learn the disease process and understand that as long as they are doing okay, they don't have to rush through the emergency room. Um, it, it comes with time and talking to medical provider. 